Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're joining me for the first time, my content consists of mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. So if that sounds like something you may be interested in, please do not leave without subscribing. I would appreciate you becoming part of this family. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you as always. Uh, do remember to follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. Now, I have a fragrance review video for you today. I'm here to talk about Swiss Arabian Casablanca. I have featured this fragrance in my previous or two videos before this uh, as one of the best caramel fragrances out there, but I hadn't actually done a full review of it. And this is how it looks like. And this is the packaging, nice simplistic uh, blue uh, box with this uh, uh, gorgeous like uh, very simplistic uh, bottle I'm gonna spray it on the box because I'm already wearing my scent of the day um, so I'm just gonna give one spray there reason I've just given one spray is to me this is a very loud and pungent fragrance so there really is no need for me to spray more than once um, the notes listed for this fragrance on the top are apple and grapes and then the mid is comprised of some white woods patchouli and iris and then the base of this fragrance is caramel which i did say it does have and then it's got the ember the suede musk and peru balsam so in a nutshell i am in a scent bubble of like a loud very heavenly caramel that is in your face and um this caramel is uh it's like a caramelized fruitiness let me add and then it does have like a woodsy kind of feel to it very sweet embery and pungent uh, now if you notice when i sprayed this it's already dry but it has left a you know like this circle so it is quite heavy on the oils i think this is the reason why it is pungent uh, but they have managed to make these oils project for some reason uh, maybe because of the use of patchouli so this is your bold pungent scent but what i get in the opening is a very screechy fragrance i get a fragrance that's all over the place i get a fragrance that is loud i get a fragrance that is so heavy uh, i can almost uh, use a mental shortcut that is this is not going to be wearable in uh, summer or unless you like very heavy fragrances that is what i get i get a very screechy almost in you know all over the place kind of open you can get past the screechiness and that heavy patchouli with those white woods uh that make a lot like, like that that make it so busy in the opening it is one that tends to settle down uh in the hour and a half mark to two hours so this is one fragrance that i would say if you've been following my uh, channel from a long time ago i always say if you have a heavy fragrance that you cannot uh, stand the opening you may want to spray this maybe before you take a bath or before you wear your clothes like an hour before and then you can then wear your clothes uh, but if you are on you if you are the sort of person that is into heavy fragrances this is probably going to do it for you from start to finish but i get a very busy uh fragrance and a lot of clash of notes um the white woods there and the patchouli balsam in the mid throw this off to an extent that some people may feel a you know hints of masculineness there because i do get uh the woods that pull it almost like to uh, almost like a greenish kind of thing almost like a vertigo feel um that you get there uh because of that screechiness and clash of notes so it is very sharp uh because of that and it does have those pronounced woods however it it also carries the grape and the apple all through so it is a fragrance that is so bold and it's trying to keep everything and uh, that's the only problem i have with casablanca uh it is it's it's not giving any particular note a time to shine it only gets to do that in the maybe one and a half to two hour mark so it's almost like a clash of ingredients where everything is trying to be pronounced and in your face you know that heavy patchouli is trying to make a name there um the apple and the grape is also trying to make his presence there then those woods so it's almost like a push and pull kind of fragrance that only gets to settle down and then you get to feel that caramel coming across almost as a solo note after about uh, one and a half hours to two hours and, and it's not to say that you don't get the caramel from the top i do get the caramel from the top but i, I would have wished that this one you know the some of the notes that have been included here take a back seat uh, sooner for the caramel to then shine so what i 
then get is a very busy uh, fragrance and then later on oh it becomes almost creamy oh wow now it's becoming oh you know like a sweet milky caramelized scent on its own and then you get to enjoy it so that's the only problem that i have with this one it's a little bit all over the place a little bit overly done for me um but i would also want to experience this maybe in very colder months because i bought it recently we are not in the cold months we actually in the very hot months so um this part of the world i mean so uh, i will wait until i get to the colder months to see how it uh, plays out because it is very heavy i wouldn't put this one as office suitable as well because i i i, I do i can almost say this will uh, this might tick some people's noses the wrong way you might get comments uh, to the contrary where if you were expecting people to say oh wow you smell good they might you know end up telling you know this is too much you know this is also one fragrance that wouldn't do well in closed spaces so i wouldn't suggest this one for a date i think it would just be too much um it, it would just take over the moment having said that this is going to be a fragrance that's going to tick a lot of boxes for people who like pungent in your face room feeling uh, massive sillage trail leaving uh scents because it is that sort of fragrance my uh, entire closet is smelling of this fragrance this box is probably going to smell of this fragrance for a long time that's how it is it is that pungent so if you're one of those people that are always looking for pungent fragrances on a budget this might be one of them um it's not dirt cheap it's about 40 bucks depending on where you get it but i would say don't pay more than 40 dollars uh you know for this and i will also say i don't think this is blind by safe because um if you were to gift somebody and they have a light nose palette where they appreciate lighter fragrances they might not find this one really nice because it is very heavy i'm not slagging it off um it is one of my favorites for now i love the caramel i love its gourmand nature uh i love that it is uh heavy but i don't like the fact that it is heady so this is a very heady gourmand scent and for a person like me who has sinus issues this can be borderline too much uh but the pros again uh, you know for this one is it's a little will go a long way so this is not one that if you're an oversprayer honestly you will blast people off with casablanca because because it is a heavy fragrance uh, but for myself it is one that is probably going to last the longest because um, if I keep it um, it is very pungent a very pungent fragrance one that I enjoy only in the dry down because I feel there's a clash of notes very busy it's trying too much in its opening and this uh, business lasts for over um, this business lasts for over an hour which I feel you know it, they should have crafted it in such a way that uh, an ingredient comes in and takes a back stick seat not necessarily vanishing but taking a back seat you know but it just becomes a fragrance where the patchouli is there the woods are also the old oh, peri balsam here i am as well so it is quite a push and pull push and pull push and pull and then finally you get something that feels uh feminine finally you get something that feels a little bit creamy um a little bit powdery there with a little bit of some muskiness there but way way later which unfortunately for those who use a mental shortcut this is either going to be at the back of their fragrance shelf or they're just going to write it off uh, altogether because it is a very busy fragrance of um what this one smells a lot like i did make sure to put my nose on la belle uh by uh, uh jean paul gaultier because i've been curious about that fragrance not only for what it smells like but also for the bottle i think uh because i love aesthetically pleasing bottles i would love to add that one to my collection this has a little bit of some similarities for, to that uh, but i feel the uh, uh, jean paul gaultier's label is a bit on the refined side uh, although that one also is beastly but i feel it is a bit more refined than this one uh, because what i get here is just a beastly in your face fragrance okay they want something strong we're going to give them something strong and here it is and this is what casablanca to me smells like um is it unisex maybe but if you um gonna buy this uh i did say it does have a, you know just a touch of greenness there in the mid something a patchouli that leans a little bit green almost leaning a little verish if you're a man you better love sweet fragrances before you purchase this one but it is dry down i get femme fatale i get a very sweet uh fragrance i get something that is stuffy sweet honey sweet syrupy sweet uh in your face so it might actually end up not um 
ticking the boxes if you wanted it to to lean more masculine because you get hints of masculinity but then again in its later stages it really turns a very sweet and very feminine so that is what i had uh to say about swiss arabian casablanca guys this is how it looks i'm gonna give it a test run a, run a little bit and uh see how it goes especially in the winter months if you're looking for a gourmand fragrance you got it if you're looking for a heavy caramel base fragrance you've got it but it is a bit pungent a bit too much see chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we discuss about casablanca and other fragrances let me know what you think um please do like this video if you like it and turn on post notifications that way you will be notified when i upload a video and remember to subscribe and also remember guys that smelling good is a form of good manners Cheers.